Alright guys, today we're going to be playing Riff and Top Lane, but this time I'm going to teach you guys the one of the more fun matchups for Riffin, which is the Riffin against Sion matchup. So, what we have for this game is the Conquer page, we also have Transcendence, we got Gathering Storm, and we are also running Ignite with Longsword. I've lately been getting like a lot of questions in regards of, you know, whether you should play Ignite or TP. Um, if I could just clarify this a little bit. Within Season 12, you know, ever since the TP has been changed, I've been slowly, like, been playing more Ignite than ever, actually. And it's been pretty good, actually. It definitely doesn't work into all matchups. Like, some matchups, you still need TP, but into the majority of the matchups, it's actually very good to play with. Alright, we've got the level 2. Ooh, he's tanking quite a bit. Alright, awesome. So the way how we're going to approach Sion this matchup is um, we're mostly going to be focusing on hitting my W and my third Q whenever he's trying to land his Q. So the idea here is that we're going to be canceling out Sion abilities each time. Ooh, I wish I had my W right there. Would have been a perfect trade. He's actually going to land this one. Not bad from him, actually. I could probably kill him with, like, one combo now. Yep, you're dead. That's kind of one of the reasons why I love Ignite so much. You know, you can play super aggressive into... Especially into matchups like Sion, which needs... You know, champions that need to play safe early on. You can easily wreck them with Ignite. Like, there are so many people that do not expect the Ignite in the early game. Especially, like, between level 1, 2, and 3. Riffin has so much damage to, like, clean up the mess at, like, level 1, 2, 3. Usually, I can't, like, count the times that I've managed to get kills this way. So what we're going to do this game is probably just go with the regular build. I'm not going to mess too much with the build this game. I was kind of thinking about going for Define Sunner for fun. Um, but I think for this game, we're just going to go for the regular build. You know, taking Gore Jinker and then specifically go with Black Lever and then probably Garage afterwards. Black Lever is definitely a must-have this game because they have like a bunch of like tanks in the game. Even a Gregus mid. And a Brum support. He's gonna charge his Q. Yup. Okay. Free trade. Ooh, didn't let my stun though. I'm going to go in right away as soon as he's going to come close to me. He's going to go for the CS here. Okay. I was kind of hoping that Sion would charge his Q so I could, like, once again, like, land another third Q. Hecarim is currently in mid, so we don't have to worry about him. Man, I love this matchup. This matchup is great for Rippin because we can dash around sign Qs. We can all in whenever we feel like. And the best part is we can cancel all of his abilities, you know, canceling his Q, which is very crucial. It just changes the matchup so much. Um, the only thing to keep in mind is that Sion scaling um, while going tanky can be annoying. It does actually kind of become unbeatable when you when he gets his first item. But then again, you can just push and roam. So even when he does become unbeatable because of the tanky items, you can still definitely play around it. We got to be very careful now because Hecarim could come top lane. Gotcha. Okay. Got another one. Now we hard push. 
we make sure to get my iron spike on the next one. But before we do, we're gonna get like one play. Okay, now we can actually go back. Or, well, before we do, once again, I'm just going to take this wave and then we go back after. Just want to benefit from the gold. Okay, now we can actually go back. I don't really care if Sion's going to freeze the wave or not. I don't really care about it because <clears throat> if he does, it's not going to change much for me anyway. We're going to have to go back. We don't have much of a choice here. We had way too much uh, gold. And obviously, you don't want to stay with that much. I like how Hecarim is like playing the game mostly around mid and bot lane. What conflict awaits? Alright. Here we go. I'm going to walk in the bush. Hopefully we can get a trade off without him seeing it. He thinks that my Q is on cooldown, so I'm going to re-engage. Okay. There are so many people who do not expect, like, Riffin to press the Q again. People think that it's a long cooldown. So usually you can just turn around. I think it's going to go back. I'm going to put my points into W this game, obviously, because we're playing as a Scion here. Place a ward down specifically here so we can see Scion coming over. Okay. Well, I got him. Yep, another one. Just diving sign directly on our tower. We definitely have too much. We we already have like too much damage because we already have Paige. We got Iron Spike at like eight minutes in the game. He actually used his ultimate to walk his way back to lane, and he did get like under tower. But still, like we can just press my R, just all lane completely. If he misses Q once, he has no ability to like stop me anymore. Back to the plates here. Now we go back. All right, let's go for Gorginger. Uh, next item will be a will be Lucidity Boots, probably into a Death Sense, I think. Okay. Man, I'm seeing like Zeri every single game, by the way. My spirit is Everyone not... plays Zeri. She's everywhere at the moment. Alright, Sion. I'm gonna walk around. Oh, he's instantly flashing away. Alright. Sure. Well, that's going to be no problem here. To serve the greater good. We certainly don't mind that. Got another plate. Uh, Hecarim is coming top, so we're about to have a fun time here. I'm pretty sure we're about to get ganked by Hecarim. Hmm. Okay. could probably kill Hecarim. Uh, Diana is coming top now, so he can, she could probably kill him. Okay, we got this one. Let's 
push up next wave. How should I proceed? Yep, got it. Now we take this wave and then we back off after. So the next item will be a lucidity boots into a um into a warhammer for black cleaver and then uh there we go let's go for another one and then afterwards we will go for you know black cleaver then we go for a grudge so we can have more uh damage into the into the tanky team comp and also have some slow Hecker is currently chilling at bottling. There's no red anymore. Okay, here we go. My spirit is not lost. Uh, quick question, how are you keeping your Q on such a short cooldown? Um, by, um, the, the way how you do this is by con like constantly holding your Q. And use the longer you extend your Q by not using it, uh, the shorter your cooldown will be once it goes back, once you use it. So if you spam your Q like crazy like this, look, it's on a 7 second cooldown, you see? Just by spamming Q a lot. But if you Q like this. And then you Q again. And then you Q again. It's up again. You see? The reason why... The, the reason why this works like this. Is because the moment you press your Q for the first time. The Q cooldown will already run. So the first time you pop your Q, it's already like going, it's already counting the, the, um, it's cooldown. So Choose your own path. that's the trick. That's why I'm always spamming Q like crazy here everywhere. I always time out my Q. So if I go into my opponent, if I all in my opponent, I always make sure to space out my Qs in between. So I can always have my Q up again. That's always the trick here. And that's why I Q literally everywhere. But I always space out my Qs all the time. So it's basically always up at er at any moment I want. Mm. I could probably kill him again, but mm. yeah, he's got to play safe all day. Let's see if I can get a trade off. Hmm, any black lever to kill him. This can't be spawn soon. You can still cancel animation Q after ER. My spirit is not I mean, they uh, Riot never changed anything about Riven for like years. Actually, in fact, like ever since Riven got released, you, they never really changed anything. All the combos you could do like eight years ago, for instance, or whatever years ago, you could still do it now. Riot will never change the way how Riven works. They tried a few attempts, but the, the community got super mad. Like, I remember when Riot was trying to change the way how fast Q works by giving fast Q to everybody by default. Just by right clicking in Q. Uh, but funny thing is that um, the community got so mad about it that they actually revert the change. <laughs> so, they're not going to change anything ever. Got 
Got him again. Pretty good. Let's get the, uh, let's get a vet. Nice. Now they get this camp here. Uh, before we do, actually. That's going to crash in. Let's get this camp here. Okay, it's time to get my black lever. More ability haste. Uh, next item will be a grudge. I'm thinking about going ball in actually. Oh, wait, that's two kills we can get. Oh, there's Scion right there. Yep. Several kills right there. Let's get some jungle camps. Drake spawns in like five. I'm just going to leave that to my team. Yeah, we got our free tower. Nice. Uh, we get my grudge and... There we go. We need like... Yeah, we need like 180. Maybe we can get Scion. There's like three people bought so far. Alright. Let's see if we can dive Scion. He doesn't try anymore. I'm not going to force a tower, though. Alright, we can go back now. We can get my grudge. Goodbye. I love how they're chasing me down, though. Hmm. They're really chasing? What? <laughs> What's going on? What in the world? They're going like this far to try and kill me? Through this one. You guys find it amazing how I always use Gore Drinker always when it's off cooldown. Hmm. Well, I don't really guess the cooldown. But, um, if. Well, let me try to explain it. So, whenever I. Whenever I do my combos as Riven, I don't just take a wild guess when my item is back or my abilities are back or whatever. When I use combos with Riven, I consistently look here. 
Like, I think each time I use my combo, I literally always put my eyeballs on my abilities and on the map. Um, whenever I do combos. And I take the items along with me. So if I do a combo, I immediately check all the time when, you know, when my next ability arrives. So... You're not just gonna blindly, like... What I guess when your item is back, but you're gonna try to do your best to see what the cooldown is. Bad. But um feels bad. Oh We can dive sound in our tower. Oh, whoops, I messed up. No, no, my stopwatch! <laughs> I was spamming my stopwatch. <laughs> this Hackerim ultimate messed it all up, man. <laughs> I could, I could, like, there was nothing I could have done there. Maybe, maybe I could have tried, like, casting my stopwatch just before getting ulted, but. <laughs> Painful, man. Alright, well, too bad. My stopwatch. <laughs> Alright, here we go again. I'll, I'll get a red pot. Because we're getting lots of kills this game. Drake spawns in 25. That, uh, these guys actually do quite a bit of damage. Hmm. They do quite a bit. I actually want more sustain. All I have is Gore Drinker. I could kill them. Hmm. We need the wave here. Alright, we're about to dive him. Uh, wait a second. Hmm. Okay, we got him. Cool. Uh, they were respawning in like two seconds. Probably kill them now. Pretend like I'm AFK. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Okay. Well, okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm not gonna risk more. Hello there, train. Hey, thank you for the sup. You 
Come on, Diana, come over. You're doing your little. You're taking some time. Oof, got him. <laughs> hey, wait. Oh, I was gonna jump over the wall. Feels bad, man. Let's do this. Okay, I'm overextending. <laughs> I'm literally standing there with like 700 HP. <laughs> I would like to battle them though. If they were coming over, I would have definitely tried. But I, I, I think they will stay in mid. Choose your own. <laughs> Hey, by the way, Train, thank you for the sub, man. Thank you for supporting me. Here comes the fight. Hey, two and one. Nice. Got me over? Nope. Wait. Come on. Hey. Okay, that's the problem. <clears throat> Let's get the inhib. I think we can probably finish the game here. Oof. That actually almost land. Woof, I got him. <laughs> awesome. I'm healing so much on my Gorge Inker, man. <laughs> Awesome. Either way, this was Riven Top. Thank you for watching today's YouTube vid. I'll see you next time. Peace.